Today we're announcing 14 new cases of COVID-19, bringing our total to 35 uh, confirmed and probable cases in Manitoba. We are providing further details about these uh, cases in our news release. The public health investigations of these cases are continuing uh, to confirm details. Uh, at this point, uh, most of the new cases are connected to travel or through contact to previously announced cases. I can confirm that one individual, a woman from Winnipeg in her 60s, has been admitted to hospital in critical condition in intensive care. Remember, there are public health orders at play right now. Uh, these orders apply to public places, not workplaces. However, again, the time for workplaces to implement social distancing strategies was almost two weeks ago, and we expect continued efforts in that, right? Everyone has that role to play. We can interrupt the transmission of this virus if we all pay attention to those social distancing strategies. We've taken measures, as Manitobans know, to get supplies into this jurisdiction. Manitobans have become familiar with the phrase personal protective equipment, PPE. Uh, I am able to update today and say that those supplies have already begun to flow into Manitoba, uh, but we need much more. We are pleased to announce that as of today, uh, we are opening a new online portal uh, that will allow companies to register and to be able to provide the goods and services and the materials that we need to respond to COVID-19. So we have this online form and we will provide the information about where you can find that. We have a job to do to make sure that we have the specialized equipment that we need for frontline healthcare workers, for the patients that they will serve, uh, to provide the best possible care to patients, and to keep our healthcare providers safe in the performance of their duties.